<clears throat> All right, we back. Mary the Medicine, season five, episode five. Who's coming to Nola? Noya. So, <clears throat> Toy didn't have a talk with Jackie and Simone, and it's pretty much she's going to be nice all day. Heavenly, <clears throat> they're all on a bus. Heavily calls Contessa Contessa. She says it several times, says shit to the girl face. So, nothing but respect for it. And she pretty much told her, like, my name is Contessa. And <clears throat> Contessa gathered her ass real quick. She was like, well, you know, this what it is. I don't make fun of people with this who have disabilities. <laughs> And right then we saw the heavenly really couldn't take. She was like, what if it? She was like, I thought you might have had like a speech pedal or some shit. I hollered. Because it was like, heavenly had no fucking combat. She can dish it, but she can't take it. So Simone has a swamp trip plan, but she ain't told nobody. Now, Toy was on the bus just getting drunk, getting sloppy, sloppy drunk. She gets all, she's get, get, Getting off of the bus and bust her shit. Like, not bust her shit, but fail flight. Like, slid, slipped, like her ass slid off one of the fucking uh, steps, and then she just plopped. Ah, holler. Fucking holler. <clears throat> now, Jackie don't like the fucking uh, trip and fool out of She was just laid down on the fucking boat. And the guy and <clears throat> had mentioned that there are pigs in the vicinity, and. Heavenly was like, oh, there's Mariah. Which, that I'm pretty sure that's going to come up during the reunion. And <clears throat> Toya Hold on. Toya was saying the pigs probably ain't showing up because I ate so much pig today. And Jackie said we can take <laughs> Now we know Jackie throws a lot of her shade in the confessional. But I'm like, okay, I'm here for Jackie saying some of the shit actually on camera with the girl. So the back at the hotel, Mariah surprises Simone and Jackie. Simone is truly shy. Like Simone's kind of like, I don't know why the fuck you are here. Now in the other room, you got Qua Contessa and Heavenly. Dr. Heavenly and Kwai have a differences um, <clears throat> of agreements when it comes to relationships. <clears throat> because Heavenly's whole thing is maybe it's because you of the whole baby thing that there is an issue between you and your husband. Now Contessa feels that the way that um, Heavenly is coming in, um, Quiet is real fucked up and was even going so far as to say that that is her uterus, you know. And then <clears throat> Heavenly tells her, Shut up, Contessa busts up, like, No, you shut the fuck like, literally busts up. And it's again, it's one of the ways you can tell that Heavenly doesn't know how to take it. She's used to being able to dominate the conversation, but I think she also has, you know, a little bit of anger issues because she has to get up and move herself rather than. She can't sit there and shake it. I mean, it is what it is. The remaining girls um, <clears throat> come in. Mariah hugs everybody, even Quad. And Quad's kind of doing this right here. And <clears throat> Mariah starts to get the tea on, like, what the issue is in the fucking group. And Toya gets mad because people are not responding to Mariah the way that she wants to. More or less, <clears throat> she was hoping the girls would have been mad that Mariah was there and actually, like, went the fuck off. And she wasn't getting that. Because, I mean, let's be real. Toya really doesn't have much of a fucking story to run. Let's be honest. <clears throat> anyway. Contestant heavily makeup. Moving on. The guys saw. And they were all pretty much talking about their son. And how, like, each son, you know, in terms of the years. Like, each son is kind of, like, setting the bar. Doing big and great things. They get to Greg. And of course, Greg feels ways because he does not have that. He doesn't have a child to call his own, which I'm feeling that shit. I'm going to be 31 this upcoming fucking Saturday. I'm alone, alone. I ain't married nobody. I ain't got no kids. But a part of it is my fault, so it is what it is. But I feel I, I, I feel him, though. Um, Quiet <clears throat> feels that if they work through their struggles, then she would give him a baby. He agrees they do have struggles. But I don't think that, I, I can see that being the reason where if there's issues, why bring a baby into issues? But I don't think that's the reason that she's not giving him a baby. Just saying. <clears throat> and she talks to Jackie. <clears throat> and she says that she um, needs that emotional connection. And Jackie actually is starting to see her relationship through the eyes of Kwai and Greg. 
because she's looking at Quad like, damn, Quad is my husband, where she is telling him what she needs, just like he was telling me what he needed. And just as Dr. G is ignoring her, which that is kind of one-sided because they're only hearing her side, not trying to blame and victim point and all those other Y'all know what I'm trying to say. I'm tired. This is like my fifth fucking read right now. But <laughs> she is just like, okay. It's like she, seeing it from another perspective is kind of making everything come together for Jack. So <clears throat> Mariah is happy that she and Toya are in a better place. And she was like, well, you know, the grown up get the grown ups get it. And I didn't like the fact that she said that because that was a fucking jab. And it's like, if you're trying to sit here and make nice people, it's just like, you can't, you really can't throw shade and think that people are going to be receptive to you. Here's the thing. I like Mariah. I really do. But she's doing the absolute most. And I really do think that she was trying to be genuine with coming around these girls. But you can't sit here and say slick shit and think that it's going to be okay because it's not okay. The girls, for the most part, hash out some of their issues. Kwai mentions that Mariah apologizes and throws shade. Now, that is true, <clears throat> but I don't know if it was this episode, the next one that I'm about to talk about, Kwai had like this little smirk on her face and whatnot, and it was just like, because Kwai could have sit there and not say nothing, because with this one in particular, nothing was really directed at her, and I feel like Kwai needed to see. I like Kwai, but I, I, I love Mariah, but I think that Kwai needed to see. And that was her trying to have. So that's it. Like, it, it was a lot that happened, but I wasn't going to go through all the fuck shit, but it's probably the next episode that I probably have more to talk about. It might be a quickie just like this, but that's all I got, y'all. Rate, comment, subscribe, and share. You could be because I'm tired as fuck, but I'll see y'all for the next video. Peace.